Once your root pass is in place, the ProPulse process lets you weld the fill and cap passes with the same gas and wire you used with RMD. Before beginning your fill pass with ProPulse, grind out your starts, stops, and high points from the root pass. We'll walk through the welding process with ProPulse in both the 1G rolled and 5G fixed positions, starting with 1G. Begin by holding the gun at the top of the pipe at approximately a 90 degree angle when the pipe is rolled away from the welder. You can roll the pipe toward you or away from you, whichever you're more comfortable with. When the pipe is rolled toward you, position the gun at 2 o'clock. As the pipe moves, weave the electrode slightly to tie in the sidewalls of the joint. ProPulse's focused arc cone and fast freezing puddle give you superior control, which you can see in the high quality of your weld. In the 5G fixed position, you can weld either vertical up or vertical down. Though we recommend vertical up so you can see the weld tying into the sides as you go. To weld vertical up with ProPulse, begin in the 6 o'clock position with the wire positioned at approximately 90 degrees to the pipe joint. Establish your puddle, then move the electrode back and forth across the joint using a Z-weave similar to the weave you'd use with a 7018 stick electrode. Move quickly across the weld joint and pause at the joint edges to make sure you're getting good tie-in at the sidewalls. Similar to RMD, ProPulse is tolerant to stick-out variations. Changes in stick-out do not affect the arc length and resulting weld. This improves quality and weld consistency and it's easier for the welder. The finished weld will be flat to slightly convex and exhibit excellent tie-in at the toes of the weld. When your first pass is complete, grind off your starts and stops, along with any high spots or major silicon islands, before beginning your next pass. Use the same technique for subsequent passes. Welding vertical down in the 5G fixed position requires extra caution. Start in the 12 o'clock position with a 5 to 10 degree drag angle. Then run a straight bead with little or no weaving so you move fast enough to stay ahead of the puddle. You'll need to wire brush the finished pass to remove silicon islands before depositing the next pass. Lay down multiple beads across the joint as required to fill and cap it. This technique will require more passes than if you were welding vertical up. Pay special attention to the puddle when welding vertical down to make sure you get tie-in and don't get lack of fusion which is caused by the weld puddle getting too far ahead of the arc. The molten weld metal will roll downhill onto the unmelted previous pass.